Then Elisha said, Give ear to the word of the Lord, the Lord says, Tomorrow, about this time, a measure of good meal will be offered for the price of a shekel and two measures of barley for a shekel, in the marketplace of Samaria. Then the captain whose arm was supporting the king said to the man of God, Even if the Lord made windows in heaven, would such a thing be possible? And he said, Your eyes will see it, but you will not have a taste of the food. Now there were four lepers seated at the doorway into the town, and they said to one another, Why are we waiting here for death? If we say, We will go into the town, there is no food in the town, and we will come to our end there, and if we go on waiting here, death will come to us. Come then, let us give ourselves up to the army of Aram, if they let us go on living, then life will be ours, and if they put us to death, then death will be ours. So in the half-light they got up to go to the tents of Aram, but when they came to the outer line of tents, there was no one there. For the Lord had made the sound of carriages and horses, and the noise of a great army, come to the ears of the Arameans, so that they said to one another, Truly, the king of Israel has got the kings of the Hittites and of the Egyptians for a price to make an attack on us. So they got up and went in flight, in the half-light, without their tents or their horses or their asses or any of their goods, they went in flight, fearing for their lives. And when those lepers came to the outer line of tents, they went into one tent, and had food and drink, and took from it silver and gold and clothing, which they put in a secret place, then they came back and went into another tent from which they took more goods, which they put away in a secret place. Then they said to one another, we are not doing right. Today is a day of good news, and we say nothing, if we go on waiting here till the morning, punishment will come to us. So let us go and give the news to those of the king's house. So they came in, and, crying out to the doorkeepers of the town, they gave them the news, saying, We came to the tents of the Arameans, and there was no one there and no voice of man, only the horses and the asses in their places, and the tents as they were. Then the doorkeepers, crying out, gave the news to those inside the king's house. Then the king got up in the night and said to his servants, This is my idea of what the Arameans have done to us. They have knowledge that we are without food, and so they have gone out of their tents, and are waiting secretly in the open country, saying, When they come out of the town, we will take them living and get into the town. And one of his servants said in answer, Send men and let them take five of the horses which we still have in the town. If they keep their lives they will be the same as those of Israel who are still living here, if they come to their death they will be the same as all those of Israel who have gone to destruction, let us send and see. So they took two horsemen, and the king sent them after the army of the Arameans, saying, Go and see. And they went after them as far as Jordan, and all the road was covered with clothing and vessels dropped by the Arameans in their flight. So those who were sent went back and gave the news to the king. Then the people went out and took the goods from the tents of the Arameans. So a measure of good meal was to be had for the price of a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel, as the Lord had said. And the king gave authority to that captain, on whose arm he was supported, to have control over the doorway into the town, but he was crushed to death there under the feet of the people, as the man of God had said when the king went down to him. So the words of the man of God came true, which he said to the king, Two measures of barley will be offered for the price of a shekel and a measure of good meal for a shekel, tomorrow about this time in the marketplace of Samaria. And that captain said to the man of God, even if the Lord made windows in heaven, would such a thing be possible? And he said to him, Your eyes will see it, but you will not have a taste of the food. And such was his fate, for he was crushed to death under the feet of the people, in the doorway into the town.